I know it's been a long delay there, um, and uh, and that other video was meant specifically for you know cousin of mine. But um, I plan on being back more frequently. Uh, I know it's it's been a few weeks, um, been been pretty busy, and just recently been a little under the weather. Um, but I stayed keto. I, I actually I, I made it a point to to be even more strict about it. Um, I haven't been to the gym in about a week. Uh, both, both me and Little Man have been sick. But like I said, I um, actually, you know, uh, I took a I took a page from my buddy Jeff that was in the uh, the Tough Mudder video. <laughs> I went and, and baked some cauliflower with I like chopped it up, olive oil, uh, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and uh, Parmesan cheese. I just tossed it in the oven for like 25 minutes, the 375, very good. It was uh, surprisingly very good. He had, he had shown me things, things like that in, uh, <laughs> back in Colorado. But first time I, I went ahead and did it. So thank you, Jeff. It was delicious. I strongly suggest it, especially, you know, if uh, you got people that are picky with like broccoli, cauliflowers, <clears throat> excuse me, cauliflowers, a bit more, laid back you can you can mess the you know make it make it flavored however you want I, I use I used to use that hand that hand mixer and turn it into like mashed potatoes and it, you know it's it works great that way I haven't quite done the riced cauliflower yet but we'll see maybe maybe next time I still have some left from the the head of cauliflower that I did before but I had some some of that uh, the big cauliflower very good and I had some pulled pork with just a little bit of a uh, little bit of barbecue sauce. Uh, I'd rather, you know, I've I've tried low carb barbecue sauce, and and it doesn't quite like my favorite barbecue sauce is still sweet baby rays. <laughs> it's one of those things like I don't have a lot of. Obviously, there's, there's sugar in there. So I, I just end up saving, you know, saving that for for my my dinner in terms of you know my carbs for the day. I think I put about three three tablespoons in my, you know, my my big bowl of uh, pulled pork. The more savvy people will see that it's probably about twenty five carbs or so, twenty twenty six something like that, uh, for the three tablespoons. It's it's just it's just one of those things I I, I haven't found a good substitute now. Maybe, maybe in another video I'll try, maybe I'll get one of those, those lower carb barbecue sauce and put my own sweetener in it, something like that. We should try that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's what we'll, that's what we'll do. We'll do a little, little experimentation. I guess the, the point, the point today is just, you know, eat, eat what you like or make what you do like keto. I think that's, that's a big takeaway here. So I'm not dead. I'll be posted more often, and especially once I once I get 100% and and going back to the gym and whatnot. Thanks for watching, Maddie's Keto Blog. Take care, guys.